What is going on guys, it is Steve, your semi-comprehensive guide, back here with another video tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to Steam on PC. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So there are two ways you can do this. You can uh, either do it the easy way, the preferred method, uh, the method I use uh, most of the time, which is to get a micro USB cable. One comes with the PS4, and I mean, let's be honest, I think all of us have a uh, micro USB cable around somewhere. We're going to get that cable, plug it one end into our PC, the other end into our DualShock 4 controller, and then we're going to go to Steam, up here to the Steam menu, down to Settings, uh, Controller, and then General Controller Settings. And if everything went through correctly, it should show up down here on the bottom. And uh, with this, we can click on it. Uh, we can identify it by clicking the Identify button. We can go up here to Preferences, and we can uh, change the name. We can turn Rumble on and off. We can uh, change the light bar color, brightness, all that stuff. And yeah, that about does it. If there are any issues, um, just be sure to have your Steam and PC uh, updated to the uh, latest versions. That should take care of most of your issues. And also check your micro USB cable and your USB port uh, on your uh, PC. Some cables don't work, uh, some are old, outdated, some, you know, are damaged or uh, just aren't compatible with your uh, PC. So just keep that in mind when uh, using this method. And the second method is to use Bluetooth. And in order to do that, we are going to hold the PS4 button and the share button on our DualShock 4 controller for three seconds until the light bar flashes in a white color. And from there, we're going to go our Windows menu, over here to settings, then down to our uh, devices menu, and over here to uh, Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. And then we're going to go to add a Bluetooth or other device Bluetooth, and it should search and it will hopefully show up. There it is. We will click onto it, and it will connect. Hopefully, yep, yeah, there it is. All right. And it is now connected. So from there, it's basically the same process. We can head back here to Steam, up to the uh, same menu here in General Controller Settings. And if everything went through correctly, it should show up down here, as it does with the wired method. Same disclaimer, make sure to have your Steam updated, your PC updated, uh, all that stuff. Um, make sure your PC also has uh, Bluetooth on it. Uh, if it doesn't, then it's easy to buy a cheap Bluetooth receiver. I'll put one of those in the uh, description down below. But other than that, yeah, that's how you connect your uh, DualShock 4 controller to your PC. Now, if you want to disconnect your DualShock 4 controller, you'll head back here to Bluetooth settings, back here to wireless controller, click on that, and we will click remove device. That will remove it from our PC. Yes, we do. And it is disconnected. Now, one thing you'll notice is if you press the PS4 button on your controller, it will not connect to your PS4 automatically. It'll uh, go back into uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. So in order to reconnect it to our PS4, we are going to get out our handy dandy micro USB cable. We're going to plug one end into our PS4 and the other end into our DualShock 4 controller. And we are going to turn it on. And then on the uh, sign in menu, we are going to hit the PS4 button. If it doesn't work, uh, same issue that I mentioned earlier with the micro USB cable. It could be that. It could be the, pl uh, the uh, USB port on your uh, PlayStation. PlayStation 4, but other than that, it should uh, it should work properly. So that about does it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I have been Steve, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.